bidding, and it does, of course, provide fines for this conduct. The rules do permit for vendor bids, and the words I'll use during the auction to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of our vendor, ladies and gentlemen, a vendor bid, and only I, as the auctioneer, can and will make that vendor bid. I might just bring this a little bit closer. I'd also like to point out before we get going with the auction proper, it is my job as the auctioneer to get the highest and the best price for our vendor. If we get some competitive he uh, bidding here this afternoon, which I certainly expect we will, I may drag out the auction bidding sequence. If I do that, I'd ask for your patience, safe in the knowledge and understanding that if I had the opportunity to auction your property, I'd do the very same thing for you. It's important for our buyers who are here today to have ample time to consider their options as they enter into a fairly significant financial undertaking here at number 30 Glencan Street in Mulgrave. Well, let's talk about that opportunity, a fantastic one. I'm sure you've been able to decide for yourself what sort of an opportunity it is. But a quick recap before we give you the opportunity to buy it. An exceptional piece of real estate on approximately 730 square metres of land. It is absolutely rock solid, presentable, and a well-loved family home. And the time has come now to pass this property on to another buyer who will perhaps see some future use for it, perhaps a renovation, maybe subject to council approval, the all-important council approvals. You may wish to go down the track of perhaps using this magnificent block of land and, uh, and exploring the options of putting townhouses on it. You certainly don't need to do anything. If, you like, if you're happy just to come in here and turn on the lights, you can absolutely do that. There is not a cent to spend in there. It is rock solid and it's ready for you on the day that we settle. The location here is absolutely superb for the local schools. You've got four bedrooms, a large kitchen, family meals area and a separate lounge and dining zone and a fabulous rear garden environment out the back there featuring that spa and external pergola, entertaining area. You've got the polished boards as well, the quality carpets, a garage, storage, shed and, uh, and the driveway parking all adding to one very appealing package indeed. The property is zoned for uh, Wellington Secondary College here and Albany Rise Primary School, both are within walking distance. Wellington Reserve as well, ladies and gentlemen, is close by, as I'm sure you'd be aware. And the Waverley Garden Shopping Centre and Freeway Access as well are within easy reach too. Mulgrave, this is an important thing to think about and reflect on, is the most undervalued suburb in the city of Monash. And there is huge potential for the future in this very convenient location between Melbourne's beaches and Melbourne's eastern suburbs. The best part though, ladies and gents, it can be yours in the next couple of minutes. You can end your searching in the next couple of minutes, you can move on in, and away you go. Quick update on the Mulgrave market before we give you the opportunity to bid. These are the latest figures for postcode 3170. They come uh, from CoreLogic and RP Data up until the uh, end of September this year, 2021. They tell us the current median house price sitting at around $935,000. A strong 8.66% growth in that median price over the past 12 months. It's been very, very good. And that's based uh, or comes from 220 sales. Worthwhile noting too, uh, the average annual lift in that median price each year over the past 10 years is currently sitting at 5.71%. And that's the figure that you can really focus on. That's the figure that gives you the best indication about where future value is likely to go in the months and years ahead. The Melbourne market, I think we know, ladies and gents, it's uh, sprung back to life with a vengeance after we were uh, locked up for such a long time during this year and also last year. There are still uh, more buyers in the market than there are appropriate houses. And there's only two or three weekends left to go before Christmas. The real estate industry obviously shuts down for a few weeks, perhaps four, really after the Australia Day weekends, your next opportunity to start getting out and open for inspections, having a look at those houses, and then perhaps another three or four weeks beyond that before you can start participating again at an auction. And who knows, between now and then, values are going to end up. We've seen strong growth over the past 12 months. Raymond, just confirming uh, settlement period 306090. Yeah. 306090, ladies and gents, at a 10% deposit. If you're a successful buyer, if you've made other arrangements, obviously that's fine as well. So I'm in your hands. Who'd like to go first? Who'd like to start me off? Oh, by the way, don't want to forget this. Whoever bids first gets the bottle of what is what have we got here, Anthony? Jacob's cream pot. Savvy B, perfect. You can hop out the back there, 
and open that up if you are our uh, successful buyer. But the first bidder, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon gets this bottle of wine. So who'd like to go first? Who'd like to start me off? It's an interactive thing. I'm not here to scare you. I'm just here to help you buy the property. These guys have done all the heavy lifting. I've just come here today to help you buy it. All you have to do is put your hand up. Who'd like to start us off, ladies and gents, anywhere at all? Don't mind. We've had the uh, property on the market for the last few weeks. 990 to a million and 80 has been our range. I can start you off within that range if you like, with a vendor bid, but it's always more fun if you do. Anywhere at all, ladies and gents, don't let me miss you. I know you spread out a bit here this afternoon. Don't care how you get my attention. Throw an apple at me, <laughs> or a muffin if you've got one left over. Anywhere at all, ladies and gents, anyone wants to start me off? Well, how about we start towards the bottom of that range, a million dollars, vendor bid from me at one million dollars, looking for a rise of 10. Nobody gets the wine. At a million dollars, vendor bids with me, I don't think I'll get it as we head home either. At one million dollars, vendor bids with me, looking for a rise of $10,000 now, anywhere at all. Think about how many houses you perhaps have a look at over recent weeks, perhaps months. No more open for inspections. As lovely as Raymond and the team are at Wynn Real Estate, I'm sure there's other people you'd like to be speaking to on a Monday when we do our follow-up calls and ask you if you have any further interest or if we can help in any other way. You can end your search here this Arvo, ladies and gents. I sold a house, my own house, about five weeks ago. A couple of weeks later, I bought another one. And this is, I, I did exactly what I did. I did exactly what I always tell buyers to do. Start the auction off. Start the auction off. Is that a bid there? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Welcome to it. At one million and ten thousand dollars. Bid's there to my left. One million ten. A million and ten. Thank you for the bid. At a million and ten to my left, guys. At one million and ten thousand dollars. Our buyers to our left here. Best position to buy the property right now. Looking for twenty. Looking for a rise of ten. Any room at all. I'll make pay more, one one even. I can be cheeky, can't I? <laughs> million and ten. Bids to my left. Money's cheap, we know that. The RBA has been on, well, on record over recent weeks saying there'll be no increase to that uh, cash rate until at least 2023, possibly 2024. We know with our mo mortgage workers that we work with, certainly it's everywhere, anywhere you look at, get interest only, uh, sorry, principal and interest loans for around 2% or less with other lenders. Money is cheap, certainly cheaper in many parts of Melbourne than renting. A million and 10,000 to my left, looking for a rise of 10, anywhere at all. I'll call it three times. First call at a million and $10,000. Second call at a million and ten thousand dollars. Third and final call at a million and ten thousand dollars, ladies and gents. You're done, silent, and finished at a million and ten. I got a new haircut on first. I'm sure you didn't come out to see me in my new haircut. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be able to go back to the hairdressers again, yeah. isn't it? God, I got so sick of a friend who doesn't cut hair coming over and doing it for me. It was a disaster. A million and ten. Looking for twenty. Anywhere at all. Beautiful sunny afternoon. It's actually my last one, ladies and gents. My last auction that I had booked in at 4.30. At 20. At the back. Fresh bidding. At a million and twenty. Down the back. At one million and twenty thousand dollars now and thirty I have. Back with thirty. Thank you, sir. At the left here. A million and thirty. Can I say forty now at the back under the tree? At a million and thirty. Bids here to my left. Forty, I've got it. Forty, I've got it. At forty now. At a million and forty. Not just the forty, but a million as well. A million and fifty. Be nice, wouldn't it, if you could buy it for fifty grand? A million and fifty. Raymond down the front here. At a million and fifty. Can I say sixty? A million and fifty. A million and fifty. Bids here at the front. At one million and fifty thousand dollars, looking for a rise. We're still doing tens. He got the sixty. Thank you for that. At a million and sixty now. At one million and sixty thousand dollars. What would you like me to do, guys? At a million and sixty. At one million and sixty, still working in tens. Can I say seventy now? Seventy. 
Got it. Thank you, Anthony. The million and seventy. At one million and seventy thousand dollars to my left. At one million and seventy thousand dollars. Very quiet over here. I think you guys live next door. Yeah. Why don't you buy this house and have a really big house? <laughs> what a pooling. to my left, still working in tens at this day, at a million and seventy thousand dollars looking for ten. Think about buying the property today, buying back your weekends, you've heard that, I thought it was just a real estate expression, but you know, it's true, it's true. There's so many other things that are more exciting to do than look at realestate.com and go to open for inspections. And when you have the opportunity to buy, and when you have the opportunity to buy such a fantastic property like this one, this is the moment that you really got to make a critical decision. At a million and seventy thousand dollars, bids to my left. At a million and seventy. That wine's getting warm there. I reckon if you sell it, I'll throw that in. At eighty, a million and eighty, and on the market. You heard that, ladies and gents. Fresh bidding here, a million eighty on the red uh, car for the drive there, and we're on the market. We're selling. We won't be going inside if I don't get a further advance on a million and eighty thousand dollars property to be sold to the group that just made that last bid there on the red car. A million and eighty thousand dollars. We're on the market, ladies and gents. We're selling. There won't be any pauses. 90. At ninety. Thank you for the bid. At ninety. At a million and ninety. At a million and ninety now, sir. At the back, can I tempt you back in? A million and ninety. Can I say one point one? At a million and ninety thousand dollars. What about you guys here at the front? One point one. Now I've got it. Thank you for the nod. At one point one. At one million one hundred thousand dollars. What would you like me to do, guys? Don't let it go. One point one. I pushed myself a little bit a few weeks ago as well, and it secured me the house. So I'm saying the same thing to you. Do exactly the same thing. One million one hundred thousand dollars. I'll take you five. I'll take you five. At one million one hundred and five. At one one oh five. At one million one hundred and five thousand dollars. Now maybe I should come a bit closer. Don't let me miss you though. You want to be one million one hundred and five. Bids there. What can I say? One million one hundred and ten. One million one hundred and five. You prepared to let it go? At one million, one hundred and five thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, the plane for keeps. We are on the market. We're selling at one million, one hundred and five thousand dollars. First call at one million, one hundred and five. Second call at one million, one hundred and five. One million, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Be quiet over here. Anyone have any interest? At one million, one hundred and thirty. First call at one million, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Second call.
open for inspections. All of that stuff, it's so boring. One million. further advances, $1,140,000, I'm going to call it three times, and the property will be sold, new owners here at the car. First call at $1,140,000. Second call at $1,140,000. Third and final time, $1,140,000. You're absolutely out. You're done. Ladies and gentlemen, the property is selling. It's selling. As soon as it hits my hand, it's done. It's sold. Congratulations. Thank you for your bidding. On behalf of Wynn Real Estate, thanks for coming along and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks.